Thank you a lot. Okay, I brought a tons of slides because I love particularly X25 and I will try to explain you in the next hour what X25 is and why we, sh we should still in this year in 2005 talk about a network that basically has been built in the 70s so it should be old, it should be died, there should be only internet issues, internet security issues but I will show you that the, this is not true. So as my title say uh, I will talk also you about real life and field experience. I mean, at the end of the presentation, you will, I will show you true things and not only the theory of the X25 stuff. Uh, I got a big disclaimer because I learned from my friend Emmanuel Gedeix from TSTF that these disclaimers are so important, as well, um, also Jim knows that disclaimers are important. Don't, don't, don't you? So, uh, to, to be clear, in this speech I will not cover uh, the technical theories of, of X25, I will give you a quick overview, but this is a bit business track, so we are not going into the technical de de details, and this is intentional. Uh, we do absolutely recommend you to not use this material for hacking into government staff or other targets. Uh, why I'm telling you this? Because now, nowadays, I was, uh, as I will explain to you, on NIX25 you will only find high-level targets. I mean, you will not find your local ISP or uh, uh, Pizza Hut shop. Maybe you would be able to find a Pizza Hut headquarters as well. Uh, so, we, we can for sure be responsible if you, if you decide to get in, into these exciting words and you will get busted, I hope not for you. Uh, I want also to point out that anything that is contained in this presentation does not infringe or should not, as far as I know, any legislations or law. And I'd also like to point you out that you, you will see m many X25 addresses, uh, to, be, uh, to be clear, an X25 address is the same thing of an IP address as a concept, and all of them may be sometimes real or some, sometimes obvious or fake. It depends and I will tell you in details in each case. Uh, what else? Well, all the true trademarks are registered to the owners, so the Cisco guys, they we, we want to see you on me. Agenda. A uh, short intro about TSF and myself, and then the nightmare is going to start. Uh, so, a uh, short, uh, short review about X25, as I was telling you how it works. Under, understanding what, the, what does it mean an NUA and a TNIC. Uh, history. History is so important to understand X25. Why? Because we are talking about technology that, as I told you, started back in the 60s and the 70s. So this means that we have at least 20, 25 years of history that teach us the, v uh, the wrong and the cool things. Then I decided to bring exclusively for a kind of box some really cool, cool, cool evidences. Uh, all the evidence that I will show to you does not came from Akin, but they came uh, from uh, professional pen testing, except for a couple, and I will underline the, that are from Akin intrusions. Then, we, we chart the difference between X25 and the internet. There are really a lot, and I will explain to you. Uh, and even the attack typologies are completely different from the internet ones. Uh, conclusions, question is answered, and the nightmare will be over. Let us start the nightmare. Uh, TSTF, who are we? Te Telecom Security Task Force, we are funded by prof professional and specialists. We are not a company, we are not uh, uh, the common staff, we are just a bunch of friends all around the world that loves te telecommunication security. We are located in Asia, e Europe and USA as well. And one time, me and Manuel and Philippe Gadoua, we tried to put together all of our know-how and we discovered that we got 30 years in TLC experiences and 50 altogether in the security field, and that's a lot. Uh, we love to say that we got a unique view on telco security. Why? Because we grew up with the telcos. We built the telcos, we test the telco, we, we consult to the telco. So I do really think that a few guys or maybe nobody is able to do that in this way. Uh, what else can I point you out from here? Uh, talking about X25, we specifically know slang terms, the device and all the techniques. And the uh, final thing about TSDF, we are self-funded, we, we don't run uh, business camps around and no venture capitals at all, thanks God. About me, 
Uh, as uh, Amy introduced me, I, I had my hacking experience from 1986 when I was uh, 13 years old, and now I'm 32 right now, uh, up to 1995. I stopped in 1995 not, not because I spe specifically enjoyed that year, but because on that year, uh, Criminal Pol, that is the uh, Ita Italian Computer Police, and Interpol, that as you, as you may know is the international uh, Re uh, regulation that makes the, the police from more, more, more countries talk each other, and the FBI, they decided that I was uh, uh, doing too much maybe, so they decided to stop me, and it was the 13th of December 95, the worst day of all my life. And uh, the operation was called Ice Trap because, because we've been able, among the other things, to get into some uh, down love place, some ice cream company. And so the police has been so smart to, to call the operation Ice Trap. Uh, so from where I became an ethical hacker, I grew up, as uh, Anthony also he said when he was talking about his past, uh, you can't play. Uh, for all of your life. You, when you are a teenager is okay, you do the wrong things and you understand and you pay and then you grow up. Uh, actually, I'm a professional penetration tester since 96, so it's just nine, nine years that I do pen testing and I've seen, as man, man, many of you, many, many things. I'm also a key contributor to the OSDEM. I don't know if you know the OSDEM, but I would like to point you out. OSDEM is an open source pro project by Isaacom, Isaacom.org, and these are security testing methodology. So in my personal opinion, the OSDEM has been able to bring the professionalism that was missing into the security te testing and pen testing field. I'm also board of directors member in some stuff. So, for example, of course, in TSDF, in NISECOM, as I mentioned to you, Lucid is the Italian Computer Security Association, and we are doing a lot of awareness. And OWASP as well, I'm into the Italian chapter. So, X25 is a user in packet switch network, as you may read, and it has been designed in 64. So, we are talking about that technology of the half of the 60 by Paul Barron, again, always him, and the Run Corporation. Uh, to do what? To be able to let the private companies and government companies to talk each other over data net net networks. You may answer to me, and the internet, and the internet at that time was under design, was under development, but most of all the internet was only, as you may well know, for some specific United States of America institutions uh, after they, they came for the university, but we had to wait until the 90s to add the, the internet for, for commercial use. So from the 70s to the to 2000 year or to the 90s, uh, how could the private comp company con Act worldwide, just using X25. So the idea was to con to, to connect a stupid terminal like a VDT100, let me say, to a worldwide pa packet switch data ne network. Uh, the last thing, X25 has been created by E2, International Communication. Union, they are based in Geneva, in Switzerland, and before E2, the, uh, the old name of E2 was CCITT, is in, is, in, is in French, I don't remember the full acronym, but it should be something like uh, Commission Creative Internationale de Telefone de Telegraph, or something like that. Why are we talking today, in 2005, about X25 security if the technology is so old? Uh, all of this speech is, uh, it came from personal know-how or even other or com companies, international research or whatever, when we do, as I told you, professional pen t testing over IP, X25, Deadnet and other networks. When we were doing this kind of job in the 90s, we discovered that there are still a huge number of security holes in the infrastructure we were trying to test. Uh, to give you some ideas, the 90% of them, when they had an X25 link, was fully unsecured and unprotected. So it's like, I will explain, explain you later, but the analogy could be uh, that in a company you, you got the internet backbone and you got IDS, you got the firewalls, you got everything, and they invest tons of money, but they forgot about the old things that are still there in a corner. 
so we kept, we kept on to pen testing as TSTF and as our micro company as well, and we kept on to find open doors forgotten by somebody. The bad thing is that when you have a forgotten door on X25, it is usually a big bridge that the brings you straight to, to the core of the company. So you don't care about the fireworks again, you don't care about the IDS because you are on the way back, in the back garden. Uh, also today, they still keep on to launch new services and new, a new connection of X25, even if you can't even think about it. Uh, so now we are in 2005 and there are still new breaches upcoming. So, what is X25? As I told you, it's an international packet switch data ne network. And to give you an analogy again, the model is very sim similar to the, to the PSDN, to the pu public switch telephone network. The, talking a bit on the tech point of view, we, we got three, three, three main kind of uh, type of packet, the data packet, the control and the facilities. I will have a specific slide about the facilities uh, packet type because it's one of the field where you can play more as an X25 attacker. Uh, there are many, many acronyms that stands for international standard defined by E2. So we got X25, but we got, got as well X29 that is just uh, uh, the, the client side capability of making an, an, X, an X25 call. We have uh, X2, X28 that, as I will explain you after, is the how to connect via a dial-up over a PSTN or an SDL line to, X, to the X25 worldwide network. X75 and X121, there are uh, the protocols specific for international X25 links. So, X25 has been, uh, as far as I know, the first global commercial data ne network because, as I was telling you, the internet was only available for other kind of things. Uh, even today, let, let's say in the 90s, the company, they, were, they started to move to the internet, but they didn't close their X25 access and con conscious with the telcos. Why? We have many regions. First, because maybe they forgot. Second, because the, the CS admin, they, they have changed. And the young ones, they don't know about these kind of things. Third, because there are a lot of services that can't uh, be moved from X25 to IP in this way. Uh, I would mention to you ATM stuff, uh, CDR stuff, SMS, and other things that, 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 that will show you. Uh, also, uh, we are talking about the 70s, the 80s, and the 90s, so we have the monopoly in uh, many countries around. And this, and this means that, that uh, the X25 networks of each country were, were mainly owned by, by the national telecom operator at the time. Uh, actually, the key clients are multinationals for sure, governments, and a small company, let's say small and medium enterprises. I go, to, I go to a shop, buy with my ITM or my Visa card something, and the boss will do a PSTM, for example, call to the HQ of a Visa corporation or whatever to check if my card is okay, and then they will stop the call. A PVC, let's say that there is an HQ and two branches of the company, and they, they, they are always connected to each other, they never disconnect the line. In, on X25, the billing is only regarding the traffic. X25 billing doesn't care about the time. And this is very useful for hackers, of course, because they don't have to get scared that they, they, they will be too much on a client because they hang on the system for three hours or three days. Uh, also, on X25, it's not sure that X25 is the main protocol at the end. You can run on X25 on X many stuff. The more typical are, of course, host to host, SNA for the banks as well, or, or pro proprietary stuff. But I've seen also, I've, uh, it happened also to me to pen test the uh, X25 system. There were the, how to say, the ancient of uh, voice over IP. The, 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 or to have a Kermit file transfer or whatever. 
uh, all the major OS, we, we can tell about Sun Solaris, HP UX, uh, uh, Bullpads and whatever, or Le Linux VMS, uh, SA400, all the old stuff, or the unknown C system that is so common to find on the, on the X25, they have their internal pad. The pad is the packet assembling, the, this assembling ca capability, and it is, it this, let me say, the is is 25 client on on the, the on one side. This this is a short example that I get from the Cisco guys, and here we have, for example, the is 25 going backbone. So it's easy to give an idea understandable to everybody. As you may as you may see, is 25 is interested only in level one, level two, and three. I will run on this because we are in the business track. So just as to give you the idea again, there there, there we have the data layer, and downstairs the network layer. One important thing is. Here, that at uh, sense uh, it to define the X uh, one to one to one international data at a length. Uh, all the X twenty five routing is based on E two specifications. So, at zoom on X twenty five user facilities because they are they can be the one where an hacker could, could could be able to play. For example, if we talk talk about Anui, what the, is Anui? I will explain to you after. But Anui is the network user in the, the, the identification. So, if you don't have a dedicated X twenty five link, you may still be able to connect to an X twenty five network via PSTN or I, ISDN. But the that dial up will answer you, will ask you for a, a user identification on which bill all the stuff you are going to do. Uh, RAW is not so interesting, but for example, is an analogy with the IP word. And another analogy is with, with the PSTN, if we call about color radio reduction. It's possible to call a NOAA, let me say, one, two, three, four, and to find yourself connected to another NOAA in another country, also maybe. And this is, this is the color radio reduction. It is very common in Australia and Asia, for example. Uh, hunt Group is like in the PBX or in the telephone and your domain where you call up for number and the number is busy but automatically it will try to select and balance all the other calls to give you an answer anyway. And the mnemonic codes are so funny and I will also show to you because in uh, uh, some countries like for example in the United States of America if we talk about the uh, they don't use noise so much, but they use a mnemonic code. A mnemonic code, to give you the idea, is that I connect to the Sprint dial-up, and instead of inserting a very strange new code that is hard to remember also for the employees, I will just write down AT&T, and it will, will connect me to the AT&T is 25 address assigned to that, that specific mnemonic code. We do have many, many ways of accessing is of accessing is 25. But before, let's talk about the net networks that we are able to find. I categorize them in some categories. So we have the worldwide. Net MCI, or it was known as Telenet, SITA, that is the Societe Internationale de Travaux um, Aero, um, Aeronautique, it means uh, International Company for Air Stuff, and uh, SITA, for example, is the worldwide company that they manage the, the connection in all the airports of the world. We, <coughs> excuse, excuse. We have the big ones, uh, British Telecom Timenet, AT&T with Acunet, DataXP in Germany, Cable and Wireless all around Asia. And those are the most famous and known because they are so widespread and so they, they have been echoed so much in the past. We have the PAC ones, Itapac is from Italy, uh, Transpac is from France, Iberpac is from, is from Spain, and so on, and MyPac is from Malaysia. 
and then the net one is run at Parknet uh, that, that's from Taiwan, Wasnet is from Russia and so on. Uh, we have many ways of accessing to is to is when is 25 and it can be li li legally or not of course uh, so you may be full of money and you buy your lease lease x25 line so as I explained to you before you are always connected to x25 or you 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 could dial up via PSTN to uh, uh, the, 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 the dial up and having your new or still a new Insert your NUI, insert the, uh, the X25 address of the system you want to get connected to, and there you go. But there are also a lot of dial-up on tool free. So the, the, this, this is a good new news for an hacker since he will not pay the phone call, the original phone call, everything is toll free, and it's so it, it may be also useful to to build an automated NUI scanner to be able to find other news to abuse or use. Uh, then we have what what I call official internet to X20, X25 gateways. Uh, they are not not so common anymore, but in the past uh, it was pretty easy to find around uh, uh, free systems that were able to barrage you from X25 to the internet or vice versa as well. And then attackers could of course have uh, hacked the system that links uh, again both to to the two ne networks or we can also have X20, X25 over TCP peak SOT as an RFC. Then, of course, uh, all the attackers can use out dials, calling card, uh, or um, hacked PBX uh, to call their own is to when is when is X28 dial up part. If they do in this way, uh, to do a back through a single permutation, of course, is not so easy because when the authorities they will try to back that test, they will go back uh, to uh, an abuse PBX or just as the calling card or other. Com companies PSDN lines. And the funny thing is that it's, po it's possible I could use a NUI from Malaysia, if I have it, even if I am from Italy. So the only problem, of course, would be the interne international phone call. But again, a calling card is a, could be okay to fix this issue. X25 addressing is nice to understand. As I told you, um, NUA, network user address, can be linked to one single C C C system, but there are some networks where if you just change the DNIC and the uh, rest of the NUA, it remains the same, you will be connected to the, to the same system even if it's, it's, if it's if it is in the US or in uh, Saudi Arabia, let me say. Um, Monica, I gave, gave you also some hints, but mnemonics were are so common on TimeNet, on SpringNet, AutoNet as well, and there are all American is 25 networks. Uh, if you have still an X28, X28 access, you could try to call this NOAA, this, this, this is from the American Time Network Gateway, and you, you will see that it, it will ask you where do you want to be connected to. Uh, so the, the DNIC is nothing more than the international code for a, for a specific country, so the DNIC is 3D Digits, and then then we have one more that ident that, that that identifies the X25 net network instead um, into the uh, the specific country. So, for example, 311 is from the United States of America. Z zero is for Prenet. 212 is from the Arrow New York, and the final X25 address is 10126. Uh, the same thing in Cyprus, they, uh, they decided to use the area code of Limassol, that's a town, a town, town, town over there, in order to have uh, the AC. So, ITU decided to share the world into seven main areas. Uh, as, you, as, you, as you will see, the mo most inter 
that I think is zone one. Zone one is the R, the four is 25 networks that manages the ocean, so Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans. Uh, two is for Europe and a part of the formerly Soviet Union. Three basically is for, from, for North America, Central America, America and the Caribbean area. Four is all you use for Asia, uh, five for Oceania, and six is for Africa. Uh, the the seven one it uh, shared again about, about a part of South America, a part of Cari Caribbean and Central America. Why it is so important? Because if you learn this this thing, uh, you will be able to identify. Uh, in which country Anua be belong belongs to in two seconds and no more. Uh, I've brought also some uh, some DNIC to show to you and to try to uh, demonstrate that we are talking about uh, a completely different thing from the internet. So this is, uh, uh, I will, I'm going to show you three extracts from the ETU official documentation as of year 2003 and they publish all the DNIC of the countries worldwide. So, for example, if we talk about E, we, we have Indonesia over here, we, we, we have Imarsat, as I was telling to you, the three oceans. In Italy, it is curious to notice that at the beginning we only had two, 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 it's for Italy also, um, always, and the final two, it wa was from, for Itapak. Why? Because at that time, um, Italy was under the telephone monopoly, so only the National Telecom comp, comp, Company was able to have their own X25 network. Uh, after the, the regulation, other tel telecom companies they started to ask to E2 ITU for their own X25 network. So we we can see uh, we can see Unisource, Infostrada, and when the, that other. There, that are other three players. It may be also useful for you to notify how in a can, can, country highly technical de development as it is in Japan, that they have more and more it was around and also for for example each big Japanese multinational as can it be food it's Itaji, Toshiba, and so on. They have their own worldwide X25 corporate network around. Uh, Australia is a strange case because they decided, as you may see, that the NIC is always here, 505, uh, 505, and then they decided to add more d digits to share around the other telephone call. Carriers, but uh, I've been, been amazed when I've seen that the Australian Department of Defense it is on X25 on a specific area. This means, in a few words, that to be able to find some uh, government system from the Australian Department of Defense, in my opinion, it should take just one or two days to scan for X25 address in this specific area. Uh, three, US, US are the most uh, funny to me because uh, they don't have a telephone monopoly, of course, they are free market since, since the 80s, so they got a lot of uh, uh, telecommunications companies that run their own net network over there. But we have also multinational, as it can be for, uh, for uh, Lumberg, but uh, we may also have some kind of spy game enjoying because we have the United States Department uh, Diplomatic Telecommunications Service that, that is called uh, Black Packet SDN. And this uh, can recall a little bit of spying games and enjoying of this kind. Or also we have, uh, as 3166, uh, the United States of America Department of Territory Wide Area Net Network. This means that, that it connects uh, all the departments uh, uh, in all the, the United States of America and maybe also abroad. Uh, Malay Asian Example, you do also have the main one that is uh, 5021 and, the, and this my pack, but as well you also have others, it's 25 network here. 
So some uh, homework now. Let's say that we are a com company based in, in based in Italy, in Torino, and we have some more branch in Genoa, in Milan, and in Bologna. Uh, all of them could 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 be connected via Italy is 25, so again is two 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 and two for Itapac, so two 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 two, and all of them will have an assigned is 25 address as w as we may see for for Torino it will be two one 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 two two eight seven seven eight and so on. Uh, let me try to explain you the syntax over here. So we have the inter international address for the uh, Torino HQ. It, it, will, it will be zero because it's from external, so it's international. Two, two, two for Italy is 25, two for Itapac, and then one, one is the area code in Tor Torino. And the, and the two, 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 eight, seven, 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 eight is the end part of the is 25 international and national as well address. So we call it also DC, DCC or NPA. NPA is the end of the part of the address. And the DCC is the international uh, DNA, DNAC without the ETAPAC specification. But uh, if we are also, for example, a rather one in Rome, and we we have to to connect all our, our town, the city city of town to our HQ, we will have a nice toll toll free number to call, and maybe we could could be able over X28 to to ask for a reverse X25 call. So we don't need a new we don't pay for the line because because it's a toll free and the system that we are going to call will pay for our connection. It's the same as the root level as, an, as a call it call in the PSTM world. Talk, talking about now the US, we can, we can have a Broadway show in Dallas, in Miami, in LA and in New York, but everything will, will be on a sprint that is the, 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 the um, American one of the US is 20 is 25 networks so all the address will be longing of course to, to sprint and this is, this, is, this is the way the Italian corporate one and the USA corporate one will be able to talk each other via X75 that as I told you is the international Standard to uh, make two different is twenty five it was talk each other, but also in the in the US we could we could have a rather one runner at his own, and he will be able to call a dial up toll free or not, and to um, insert his new or calling in a reverse charge mode and connect to my Yemi office for example. The other side is the ECK work. Uh, I've identified to you all the attack points that could, could be in this kind of over environment. tournament. So start, starting from the left, an attacker could decide to call the toll-free toll number and just scan nuance and nuance until he finds a, a reverse charge a system that is able to accept his phone call or also via a direct PSDN so we will abuse of the NUEs of the NUEs or as well acting via XOT X25 of um, X25 over TCPIP because in the last eight years let me say many companies they are trying to move from the X25 to the IP but it's not, not so easy as I told you so they are trying to fix uh, with some tricks uh, and they put XOT uh, and IP. Okay, is it clear to you? Then, War Games. Do you remember this nice mo mo movie? Or the, the, the town? Actually, I saw War Games when I was, I think, 11 years old and I fell in love for the, for the girl so much. Uh, see, seeing her, her now, she's not so cute, but I was a kid, so. But in work games, I mostly fall in love for 
this for the world dialing of world games. Now it may be a mess to you that uh, it is so easy to understand is 25 scanning because it's the same idea of the PSTN world dialing. So to be clear, this is a true scan in uh, C plus Lima Soul that uh, it's an old log from for, uh, for, from year 94. As, as, you can, as you can see, we have the Ministry of Health of this government on X25. I don't, have, I don't think I have to explain you what may happen if a bad guy will enter into the Ministry of Health. It means shit. Uh, but also we are able to find banks, we are able to find uh, uh, pagers as, uh, as well, or Cisco routers, all of this. Uh, to give you some more hints, when we have CLR OK, it means that the no one we are trying to call is busy, so probably they only have one uh, virtual logical channel that it's all gadget to a data call with somebody else. Or if, if we have a CLR DTE, it means, oh, sorry, it means that uh, it's like uh, a firewall or let me say a TCP wrapper. It means that the call system doesn't accept a call from our address. And we can investi investigate further, further, more to understand why they don't accept our call. Another nice scan, this is from Canada, if I don't remember bad, in the Ontario area. And again, you can see that we can find some banks, we, we can find Sun OS, even if we're very old at the time. Uh, who knows what this system is, MPX, do you know it? No, MPX is the HP3000, it's a very old uh, C system for Tom Ewell Packard. And if, if I don't remember bad, the syntax login was something like hello, username, and common password. So, some, some, some uh, to say, history to explain to you why we should learn from, from the past. Uh, is there somebody in this auditorium? that knows a book that is called the Cuckoo's Egg. Okay, in the Cuckoo's Egg is a book from uh, 1985 or 86, I think. And uh, there was a true history of, of international espionage. It means that some guys from the CCC, from the Chaos Computer Club, they were specifically Pango and Albert, they have been paid by, by the KGB, the Russian spy agency, in order to attack to USA government contractors and steal secret stuff. The fu funny thing is that actually the KGB didn't understand so much about uh, these things, and the CCC guys they were able, okay, also to attack to the US, but also to to take some free documents and being able to sell them to KGB as a very high reserved secret stuff. They were smart a lot. Uh, in 89 it happened the scandal when uh, some, some Australian from Melbourne had been able to hack into Citibank Saudi Arabia and they still millions and millions of credit cards, not only from Saudi Arabia, of course, but, but belonging to all the Citibank C C clients around. In uh, the 90, also, it happened that uh, the, the modern the lot, they had to uh, fight each other, and for reasons that even today has to be cleared, uh, the United States of America, uh, AT&T backbone, shut off. So it means that from New York to Los Angeles, it was not possible to make an international call. Uh, can you understand what is the amount of the damage if we are talking about the United States of America and all the companies to the private that can just call, give a phone call to their grandmother if, they, uh, if she is in New York, but if their grandma is in Los Angeles, they were not allowed to call in Los Angeles. They, they were not allowed to call a bar broad all the, of the states. All of this happened only because two young Akin uh, teams have a fight to, together and under all they were also is 25. 
um, Ossie Sheen, Electron and the Force and Phonics has been the first guys in the world to build an automated scanner for X25. He used to, uh, to run on a system that is called Prime OS or Parimos is very old now, of course. In the 90, Kevin Mitnick uh, got the SAS. Who knows what the SAS is? SAS was an incredible nice tool that let an, an attacker, as Kevin Mednick and Kevin Pools and there they were at the time, to freely intercept on all the telephones watches of California. So, for example, they've been able to intercept the FBI and they discovered that the FBI were intercepting on their own the Chinese and Russian embassy in New York, but they had no authorization at all to do this. It is funny, in my opinion, that two hackers have been able to discover a bad thing performed by the good guys, the FBI guys. In the 90s, again, we have now um, many, many new scanners available for all the kind of operating system around. And in the 19, again, uh, Kevin Poulsen was able to play with, with the CO. The CO is the telephone central office, so the, the CO of your area of the town, via is 25 and to reconfigure or abuse of all the freaking stuff that Poulsen was so cool and able to do. In 1984 and 95, AT&T, GTA, and other major United States telcos got hacked. I put that, that parenthesis over there because I had a part in this hacking specifically, and that's why, as uh, Anthony as well, uh, they told me that I'm not uh, a good person to come anymore more to the United States of America, even if it, if it is uh, since 10 years ago, but it's the same as you. In the recent years, we do also have the ADM group that released until he created the X25 ADM scanner. And in uh, recent years, to be more clear to you here, it means uh, in uh, 2003, uh, somebody, let me say somebody, has uh, written a multi-thread and multi-channel X25 scanner for Sun Solaris. What does it mean? That bef before a multi-thread and multi-channel scanner, uh, to scan, for example, a country like Italy, it would need uh, uh, a month or so. Actually, with a multi-thread and multi-channel scanner, in a few hours, a whole country can be scanned via X25. Uh, uh, last news, uh, in th this last two years there, there is a lot of bad guy activity on X25, especially for, from uh, 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 Russia, because they, they scan in international reverse charge mode, so they, they don't pay for it and they are just looking for big uh, multinationals based on also in Russia and ex-former Soviet Union countries around there. Uh, then, then we have some sou souvenir. Uh, the first on the top is, is when I hacked into AT&T. Uh, AT&T was cool because, as you may see from the banner, it is AT&T mail. So it means uh, what you are thinking 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 of I acted into the worldwide mail system of AT&T. It was really funny because AT&T is as you know as you may know uh, the biggest ever telecommunication carrier worldwide and AT&T is located all um, every everywhere in the world. So it was so easy from AT&T US, Eva Jump, Eva and X25 Jump and finish to AT&T Egypt or AT&T Barahin or whatever. The second one is to show you that even if Imarsat has got their own DNIC, that is 1111, uh, we could be able also to call Imarsat via Saudi Arabia because some guys from Imarsat they decided to put a land hertz station over uh, over X25 for sure, but in the Saudi Arabia DNIC that, that, that is 4201. 
Also, this is, uh, uh, I have to disclose it to co cover it, but the DNIC is from Australia again, as I showed you before, and uh, I obscured anything that can let you understand who is the telecommunication operator over here, but it's clear that if they say, please not, all customer details are confidential and must not be disclosed, I can understand two things. First, uh, you should be a telco. Second thing, the system I'm going to hack uh, should contain the customer details that they want to keep confidential, but they are not able to do this. Uh, difference with X25 and the internet, actually. Uh, in X25, as you may have understood, all the X25 address are not public at all. It's not like on IP on the internet that you can go to internet site and look, look, look up for, for a company and you have the, the correspective IP address. All the addresses I show you here and before, they are re res reserved completely. So, an X25 attacker only scan, he performs X25 scans to find uh, his targets and address he wants to act to, but it's not so easy. As I say, I will open the yellow page, look for AT&T, and I will have the one to attack. No, at all. You have to lose time and time and nights and nights to discover your own uh, X25 address you want to attack. Uh, in, on X25, Net network, it is so true that a single is 25 address can open to you a completely new world. Why? Because, uh, as you may have understood, that there are not the small companies on X25. X25 is expensive, X25 is an old technology, so who was uh, uh, so rich, let me say, to have uh, an international data network in the 80s? Not for sure a small souvenir shop, but a big uh, more multinational or, or so on. So when you call Anua and you enter in that system, you usually on the back office you will find a wide, wide net, net, net network to explore. Third point, on X25 there, 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 there is not the TCPIP stack, of course, so you don't have the a concept of exploiting. Uh, this is to say that uh, to attack on NIX 25, you use old school and you do use other techniques and going to comment you. But uh, I wrote also a kind of, because uh, in my research team we have been able to do a particular thing. I think that we've been able to validate the first exploit for X25. We realized it in 2004. If you remember about the remote Telnet Solaris exploit on IP, on this TCPIP, after six months of research, we have been able to create a porting to X25. So we got an exploit that is working on X25 for Sun Solaris. The bad thing is that uh, the Sun Solaris systems connected to X25 are very important stuff. They are always on production environments. So the owners can't patch the Solaris for the most common bugs. And this, this is so bad for the corporate security. It's so good for the attackers, of course. So, on X25, four point, uh, to attack a CC system, you start with Bardot force for forcing attacks on the, the login, and I can assure you that it always, always works a lot. Um, old school hacking as well, you may also use social engineering or your brain smartness to hack onto X25. Uh, it is also true that there, there are a few X25 walkers, as I, as I call them, so you will not find when we are talking about X25 hacking or intrusions, uh, the kiddies, the noise guys, or the one day that plays. You will all, only and always find high level attackers, very, very, very p p paranoid. Uh, to be more clear, they are not the kind of attackers that they love to do at the basement. Uh, there are the kind of attackers that have a very low profile, uh, they don't like to show and they don't especially like the owners of the system to realize they are in. 
uh, and as well, there there are a few X25 experts in the world as well. Of course, we are a few around. Uh, this is to give you an idea uh, the flow that that we those in professional pen testing for uh, when we have to verify a system connected to is 25 so we, we start to, with the scanning and then we try to see if the NOAA that we've been able to find accept or not the calls from anywhere or if they ask for a sub address if they ask for some specific password to be injected in the is 25 address from there we, we try to design the Typology, the topology of the is 20 is 25 network area. Then we we will do what we we call is is 25 network integration survey. It means that, as I said to you, is 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 25. Let's see it as the main bridge to a new world. But as you enter in this world, there will be. TCPIP stuff, is 25 over TCPIP SOCSOT, or even maybe some VMS or Yoltrix stuff from the digital equipment corporation stuff on IPX, on voice over IP, and all the. It's only to go uh, to go there, open the door, and play and enjoy with them. Then, of course, we will tie also our reverse charge. Test from here, it will start. Uh, I am here. The uh, per dude for four hours attack part of the attack, and so on. All the common attack paths that, that you may see also in the CPAP. Targets on X25. Uh, as I just said say to you, all the X25 clients. Uh, what happened? Hello? to in order to look for other new new tar targets so this means that the money will be billed to the owner of that system from where they perform a scan uh, what else S services that that one of the on x25 to give you some ideas we have uh, all the telco stuff the CEOs and the telephones we which we just as many can pull send that they show to us. GSM and Tari G. Every time you send an SMS, 90% of the time it's over is 25. I'm going to show to you. Uh, bank to bank, all these with payments or the POS, the point of sales, in many countries of the world are still on next 25 and they are actually implementing the migration to the IP world or they prefer to use XOT again and save some money and not hardly modify too much the infrastructure output that they have. Uh, other good thing is that all the chemical and phar pharmaceutical companies they are on East 2025 and of course all the cor corporate, the big ones that have a worldwide HQ and then the local HQ and the single bar detentions worldwide. They are the preferred clients for East 25 networks and so they are as well the major target for is 20 is 25 attackers uh, I have maybe some sh something to show you this is an SMC for example running on v VMS an SMC as you as you may see is the short message service, service center uh, do you know what I'm talking about do you have an idea I guess yes uh, SMC is the machine that uh, receive your SMS from the phone and send the SMS to Jim for example if we want to do zoom, this is um, a log of uh, who sent the SMS until to and when. This this is from a pen test we performed in 2004, the last year. So as uh, I'm just showing to you that even in 2004, the last year, there were no. I'm sorry, this 2000. 2003, uh, there was and there still is uh, SMC connected to X25 worldwide. Other nice thing to show: this is the processing queue of the SMS. So we 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 got all the 
it's kind of a syslog, let, let me say, of the process that is processing all the SMS. Okay. We are going to the end. SMS is anything in real time. This, this can be really so funny because uh, through X25 and thanks to X25, you could be able to intercept uh, all the SMS that Fabio is going to send to her girlfriend. Is it nice? <laughs> attack, attack, attacker typology. A few war, war wars on this. As I was selling to you, saying to you, we we got the newbies on on his twenty five. So it's typically from Russia and South America. They don't know so much about X25, they love this weird, strange, old school thing, and they just scan and scan and scan. But if they find the C systems that they know and they understand, they, they will even try to hack into. If they find a VMS, if they find a strange old stuff, they, they will not be able to attack it successfully. Then, then we have the lonely attackers, I call them in, in this way, they, they may also be the, the old school hackers. They are the ones that love to act alone, they, they don't work in teams or in groups, they don't trust the other guys basically. Then we have elite hackers, I call them la creme, they should, they should be the best one around and they usually are still on X25 because they love to show themselves that they are able to act into big, big, big stuff. And then we have all the bad, bad guys, uh, let's say a bank on X25, but then you must have an insider to understand how to abuse of all the procedures and the tools that, that runs on the, on the machine. In those terrorist spies and intelligence agencies, they love X25. 25 and they and they always do this because again of the targets they are able to find them then i add also at the end the cyber ter terrorists with a question mark i've ne never seen until now of a terrorist using is 20 is 25 i think because the technology is too old and the cyber terrorist stuff is too new but uh, um, po po pointing out to you that this may, this may be a new issue in the future if the really bad guys will discover that there is not only the internet that is connecting critical systems all around the world. <coughs> uh, a show of uh, the many, many strange OS that uh, you are able to find on X25. I don't know if you ever heard about uh, the C CDC or uh, DR uh, DRS-NX, the GS1, the HP3000, and so on. These are uh, many of the operating C system that is so easy to find around. I b b bolded the peak because to me it's so f f funny. Da does some Everybody knows the origin of the PIC OS. The PIC has been de developed by a guy from South Africa that his name is Dick PIC. That's not a joke, it's for real. Dick PIC created the PIC OS. Uh, I've been able to find the PIC OS and he star started to sell it around. It is so funny and so wild to, dis to dis discover. So thanks Mr. Dick PIC. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> you are. So, uh, to give an end to you, uh, on, the, on the STF we made a, we performed a five years survey, and these are the the, the band numbers that we discovered discover around. Uh, One percent only of the top. The, the target could be considered secure or somehow not penetrable by X25. If you com compare it to, the, to other ways of attacking, this is really, really bad. The nightmares of today, I have to, uh, to run. So, telcos and mobile operators and all the others, all of them, they got their specific security issue and the, this 
this could be the fraud that, that could could be perpetrated but by an, an attacker over X25 that I repeat to you is still very very attractive I have to run I'm so I'm sorry uh, last thing uh, uh, we were talk, talking about a security suit that is really under matter for sure. As I was tell, telling to you, or the clients, they seem to forgot about their East 25 de dedicated links. Uh, even uh, closet countries that open to the internet only in the last year, years, as can, can be Iran or China, they still have their, their East 25 stuff. And, then we have some world countries, as in India, that if you if you call a specific a specific is 25 NUA, they are so kind to be your is 25 yellow page and to give you the list of all the customers they have on X25. And they, they say so bad because I explained to you X25 addresses should be reserved and and undisclosed. Or it may happen to you that you are do, doing a port, a port scan over Imarsat and you find an alive system that is an airplane over the ocean. This is true also. I will show to you. This is Iran Pak. I took this uh, years ago from the original source, let me say. So this is, this is the infrastructure of Iran Pak. This is the data, but I prefer it to not modify it and to show to you the true and the original only price that I took in the past. As well, this is India, so you call this uh, system and they are so kind to tell you or there is 25 address of the company that, that is called ACC or Anandad Bazar Patrika and so on. Or, uh, as I was telling to you, this is the uh, explanation nation of how it's possible to scan over or AOR the, the, the W satellite and though this is the technology that is able to make uh, uh, the pl plane over the air to talk to the down bases of each airport in the world. This is so bad. Uh, then, at the end, it is also possible, of course, to find the bad guys, to intercept on the bad guys. This is an IGNIS 25 security trace, or you prefer, is a sniffing over IGNIS 25, to see in real time what the bad guys were t trying to do and how. Uh, final stuff, uh, take care when, when you go around asking for, uh, for, for X25 consulting because the traditional security shops, let me say, they don't know anything about X25, they don't understand uh, uh, the telco specific security issue. The traditional telco consultant, uh, in my opinion, they don't have a big know-how of source to TSTF or, or, the, or the others of you, their job, so maybe they're no, no, not the most smart ones to go to ask and to and to pay three times more for to having the same result. And he now the re resource is 25 links. That's your question. Yes. yes. Okay. I performed the last year in a GS, GSM mobile operator and it's 25 years security auditing. And uh, if you don't have to be scared, but remember that even if you are on your own part of the part of this 25 network, it is anyway possible to perform some specific attacks like it can be is 25 spoofing. So if you, it, de it depends from, from your own environment, I can say to you. Uh, we don't have any more Time, but if you want me to answer more after, as I go out, I can have some good thing to show you or to explain to you to answer more more in detail. Okay, thanks. Thank you very much, Mr. Thanks to you. Because the traditional security shops, let me say, they don't know anything about this 25. They don't understand uh, uh, the telco specific security issue. The traditional telco consultant. Uh, in my opinion, they don't have a big know-how on uh, source to TSTF or, or, the, or the others of you, their job. So maybe they're not, not, not the most smart ones to go to ask and to, and to pay three times more for to having the same result. And he knows the resource is really so dangerous.
I have to run again. So at the end, I can just say to you that doing nothing with uh, your is 25 your packet switch data network today is exactly the same thing when in the 90s they did, did not with the internet issue, so no firewalls, we don't care, it's okay, we are all friends, let's talk together. Or in the Wi-Fi wi wi in 2000. How many hackers may be already played in your environment tournament and you never realized it before until now, I hope. In, if, if, we, if we think about do, doing nothing in critical environment, so my opinion, all the above is an invitation for the disaster. And I would like all of you, I was mentioning to you before the Cuckoo's Egg, underground the, the down doors is really good, and other references for you to study. I have a greetings at the end, all of my 25 gurus and friends, the telcos of course for being there all over the, these years, and uh, all the uh, in the box stuff for the, the, this great, great security event. Thank you a lot. If you, uh, if you want to email me for far further questions or so on, it's okay to me. I will answer to anybody always. Um, and uh, I hope that you enjoy this nightmare. Thanks so much. If you have questions, I'm ready to answer to you. Thank you. What are possible attack vectors once I'm connected? Would the box attached to the network uh, be running some kind of services? Or does, well, it, is it come, does it come down to basically uh, old school password guessing? It is 90% is old school password guessing. So when you call a system, you have like a show with you. Here, let me go back. Uh, username and pa pa password. But uh, in the 10% of the cases, you may have a, a running service on the other side. Uh, the bad thing is that you don't you don't have all the nice uh, TCP/IP suite, so you can't uh, try to trick and understand and inject and so on. And you you will just try to see what the remote machine is trying to. Set. Does well, it, is it come, does it come down to basically uh, old school password guessing? It is 90% is old school password. Guessing. So when you call a system, you have like a show with you. Here, let me go back. Uh, username and pa pa password. But uh, in the 10% of the cases, you may have a, a running service on the other side. Uh, the bad thing is that you don't you don't have all the nice uh, TCP/IP suite, so you can't uh, try to trick and understand uh, and inject and so on. And you you will just try to see what the remote machine is trying to send to you or to ask to you, and you will just try to satisfy her in one way or in the other. Thanks. You're welcome. Other questions? Yes, one over there. Thanks for a good presentation from you. Thank so you. My question is, uh, how about frame relays attacking or uh, hacking? According to is there similar things to the frame relay? Could you explain on it? That, are you asking me which could about be a frame way? Relays. Frame relay. Well, uh, you, you are talking about paradigm that is, to, is 25 links. Okay. That's your question? Yes, yes. Okay. I performed the last year in a GS, GSM mobile operator and it's 25 years security auditing. And uh, if the is 25 per private network is not connected at all with, with, with public is 25 is okay from the attacker's point of view. I mean, you don't have to be scared. But uh, remember that even if you are on your own part, the uh, part of the 25 network, it is anyway possible to perform some specific attacks, like it can be is 25 spoofing. So if you, it, de it depends from from your own environment. I can say to you, uh, we don't have any more. Time, but uh, if you want me to answer more after, as I go out, I can have some good thing to show you or to explain to you to answer more, more in detail. Okay, thanks. Thank you very much, Mr. Thanks to you.